and Afghan asylum seeker today convicted of murdering an aspiring Royal Marine has been unmasked as a killer of two who fled in Serbia to the UK claiming he was a 14-year-old schoolboy. Mawan Jean Abdul Himsai, 21, murdered Thomas Roberts, 21, during an argument over a scooter in Bournemouth Town Centre in March last year. Abdul Himsai had hoodwinked border force in the Home Office after arriving in Dorset on a Brittany ferry service from Cherbourg on Boxing Day 2019, telling authorities he was 14. At Salisbury Crown Court today the jury found him guilty of killing Mr. Roberts and the murderer's full life of the crime was made public. Abdul Himsley had been handed a 20-year prison sentence in his absence after the killings in Serbia, but he fled to the UK where he became a street fighter who attacked his foster mother and boasted about his love of knives on TikTok. Officials weren't aware of Abdul Himsai's previous convictions carried out under the alias Wad Yassin until police started investigating Mr. Roberts. Murder. They discovered that two people in Serbia had been shot dead by a petrol station and Abdul Himsai was identified by witnesses as a killer. He had also been convicted of drug dealing in Italy and given a non-custodial sentence after pleading guilty. But Abdul Himsai, who was born in Afghanistan, was allowed into the UK after telling authorities he was a 14-year-old schoolboy whose parents had been killed by the Taliban. He had deceived them so comprehensively that he was placed with foster mother Nicola Markin Jones. Dorset Police, which investigated the murder of Thomas Roberts, today said they had no idea Abdul Himsai was a convicted double murderer. A Dorset police spokesman said, Abdul Himsai was not marked on any police intelligence systems within the UK as having convictions, nor was he marked as having convictions on the police national computer or police national database. As a result, no previous convictions would have been raised with any police force within the UK as part of the investigation process. Dorset police will, where necessary, make inquiries to other agencies to obtain the relevant information, as we did in this, this case. More routinely, any inquiries regarding convictions from outside of UK jurisdiction held by foreign nationals entering the UK are a matter for other agencies. The force said Abdul Himsai was never arrested by Dorset police before this case but admitted they received a report alleging he was carrying a knife just two days before he stabbed Mr. Roberts to death. Lawan Jean Abdul Himsai was sentenced to a 20-year prison sentence in his absence following a trial over the killing in Serbia. A preliminary hearing for the UK court case heard. Prosecutor Nick Leibenberg, KC said, between July 31st and August 1st in 2018, during the evening in Indobarinti, near the motorway, he murdered two people also from Afghanistan. The name he was using was Wan Yassin. Mr. Leibenberg KC said Afghans were staying in a shed in the area when an argument broke out over trafficking. The defendant arrived and an argument broke about the business of transporting migrants. He was armed with an automatic assault rifle, two others had pistols one in the group said who is the smuggler, and then aimed their weapons at the victims he shot 18 rounds of a 7.62 caliber Kalashnikov. It's a military weapon with great firepower and rapid rate of fire. The range of the shooting was said to be relatively short, 3 to 10 meters. Mr. Lobenberg KC said the killer did not move, position and fired six rounds into each victim, with some bullets hitting their heads. An enormous number found their target, he said. Abdul Himsai, who fled Serbia, was later identified by a taxi driver who drove him away from the scene. It was heard. The taxi driver said he was sweating and showing signs of anxiety, with the court also hearing he got the weapon from gypsies. In November, 2020 he was convicted of murder in his absence by a Serbian court, having been wanted in the country since the attacks. He was understood to be 15 at the time of the killings, it was heard.